Hello and welcome back to this series of videos for an introduction into Scrivena for Jira Cloud. My name is Bobby and I am a customer success manager here at Dativist and in this video I'm going to be running you through how you can use the console. The console is very frequently the first feature that you will see and use in Scrivena because of its simplicity. With the console there are really only two elements you need to run a script. First, the script itself, so you can write your script in here. And then second, the run button, which allows you to execute the script that you've written in here. The console has two main core uses in Script Runner. The first is for testing your scripts. If you want to call certain APIs and understand how they return information, or even figure out exactly how to call that API, you can do so in the console because it's simple and easy to write the script, run it, and get feedback in the logs below. The other is for ad hoc uses. So for example, if you have a script that you will need to run irregularly or every now and then, this is a good place to have it and run it because then you can run it when you need to and you don't need to then worry about it running any further beyond that. Another reason the console is so useful is because it has a large repository of examples below the script box. So for example, here I can choose examples and I can click on bulk update resolutions and I get the code put in front for me. Most of this is already done for me. I do need to just define two variable names. However, this is a good way to look at the code, see how the code works, maybe take some snippets that I want from this, or just use it as it is, which is what we're going to do in this example here. So in this script, I need to define the JQL query and the resolution name. So I have three bugs here that our resolution cannot reproduce, and I want to change them to done. So I'm just going to put the JQL query in here, put the resolution to done, and I'm going to click run. First, I need to make sure that I'm set as the script runner add-on user, because that user has permissions to make those modifications, and click execute or run. Now the script is going to execute and it's making those changes. So we've got feedback here telling us those changes have been made. I can also go into logs to see any feedback that was built into the script. So for example, logger.info, that information will be output. And I can read to see the issues have been changed. And I can go here and I can research and all of my resolutions have now been updated to done. This is one example of a script that you can use in the console. Obviously, the scripts you can use are very much essentially limited to your imagination. However, if you do want to learn more about coding and how you can use Groovy and Script Runner to write code, we do have some training courses available, both for beginners and intermediate users, specific for Script Runner for Jira Cloud. You can find them here, and the link for this will also be in the description of the video. In the next video, we'll be going through a few more features of Script Runner, how you can use them in the circumstances in which they can be helpful, and how you can get the most out of your tool. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.